just got done crying. One of our cats escaped. <laughs> Goodbye, house. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so. Down, Cheers. Yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down. Everything yeah. just feels so bad. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around. Yeah. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Kenna. Subscribe. I would love to have you here. And it is Wednesday, June 30th, and it's moving day. Oh wow, it's one o'clock already. We have pretty much the whole house packed up. There's a few things we're still working on. The movers are at my boyfriend's parents' house right now. Still moving their stuff, and then when they're done with them, then they'll come over with our stuff. So it's still gonna be a little bit. So we'll be moving late in the day. Try not to stress myself out because I just want to get everything done like right away. Like, oh, I want everything on packed and I there's rooms that I want to paint and like I want to get everything set up right away but I know that's not possible and I know I need to take it easy but I'm someone who just wants to get it all done and get everything all set up and cozy and organized but I know that's not how it's gonna work so I'm like trying to mentally accept that right now this is what our garage looks like and we are now trying to get the handle to our freezer that came off well we didn't think about this so now did you get it oh yes Update on my phone, sorry, because I'm too lazy to get my camera up, but it's like 4.30 and we're still waiting. A lot of things have gone wrong and it's tiring and a little bit stressful, but there's a light. They should be here around 5 or 5.30, hopefully. It's 5.15 and we're still waiting. They should be here soon though, right? Maybe. ETA, one hour. It's gonna be midnight. We're gonna be in a new house. New house. Hey! Just got done crying. Yay. It's 6. 30. They should be here soon. Cats are in the boxes. They are ready to go. Movers are here and we're moving places now. One of our cats escaped. So she's- We need a real cat carrier. Yeah, because she, she like ripped through it and she's upstairs in her bathroom now until we leave. We're almost oh. all packed. Yay! Here. Bye bye. Okay. Goodbye house, we did it. Well, I didn't do anything, but the movers did and I'm so thankful, I almost just hit that. But 8.47 and we're leaving. Off to our new house and our new adventure. Anything else, love? I don't think so. I'm just Bye. gonna turn off all the lights. Bye. All the electricity is gonna go off. Yeah, don't worry right? about it. Okay. All that's good. Goodbye home. Goodbye. We love you, serve well. Okay, our car's loaded, we got a cat here. I feel so bad for the cats. This is it, last time. Off to our new adventure. Our first walk in. Hey. New house. Oh, oh. Sexy. Okay, we'll just do a quick empty house tour before they come. Go ahead. So we have this living space right here. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my god. And then we have the kitchen. Eventually we want to paint these and change the backsplash but that's for a later time little kitchen nook thing um pantry fridge and then we have master bedroom master bath shower closet another little space right here and then room number one which will be my boyfriend's office and a closet back there the bathroom this and this will be my sewing and craft room. And look at this nice, big, beautiful closet. So excited. It's like 10 o'clock now and the movers will be here soon to put all the boxes in. But I'm just gonna get what I can organized, like just put the food in the fridge, get the cat set up and then, you know, get all my feeding tube stuff in its right spot. Yay! We did it. Wow, we're back in here. Oh, we have a cat out. We let him out of the bathroom. But here's all of our stuff. Here we go in here. We didn't put too much stuff in here because we're gonna paint. What time is it? It's like 12. 12. I'm so dead. So we have stuff in here. Stuff everywhere. And then stuff in here. It's 
so exciting. We didn't finish moving until like midnight last night. And yesterday was just a rough day. So many things did not go as planned. And we didn't start moving until like whatever, 6.30. It led to a really late night. And I was so tired. By the end of the day, my stomach was in so much pain. I was so exhausted. I literally felt like I was just, my whole body was just going to collapse. But we survived. Today, it's like 10 o'clock and our house is a mess, which is fine. There's like a few things that we have to do. We have to go grocery shopping today because we don't have food. We're going to escape rooms tonight. So I won't be able to get much done today. Which, okay, I just have to keep telling myself that it's okay. There are a couple issues we have. We don't have Wi-Fi, so that's an issue. And we also don't have a microwave. That's also an issue. But those can be solved. This morning, I'm just going to start off by organizing the kitchen a little bit. My main goals to get done first are the kitchen and our closet. Just so so I have a little bit more organization because it will make me feel better. So I'm just gonna start with the kitchen and just go nice and slow and leisurely and I really don't know where I'm gonna put everything yet, but we're gonna figure it out. Also, you might be dealing with some weird angles for a while. So I only have my handheld tripod. I have no idea where my big one is, so I just have to make do with this one. I don't need to think about it. There's nothing in this world that we can't do. Flowers so everything fit in there, but it fit perfectly. And I have one that didn't fit. And then obviously we're gonna get more spices. So I need to switch drawers. I'm just gonna go and put it in everything in this large, in this large drawer. Not about it, cause it can't blow like you don't. I don't see a way around it. Cause everything has led me straight to you. It's nothing new. Okay, these are, are all the boxes that I need to go through for the kitchen. I feel like it won't be too bad. I don't know. I'm going to start with the kitchen dishes because I know that those are going to have a place. And I think I'm going to put them in these cabinets over here. I think these are a good spot. Baby, I'm outside. Been thinking about you all night. Thinking it ain't right if you and me only see us in our dreams. I'm outside, but thinking that you all night. But thinking it ain't right if you and me only see us in our dreams. I'm outside. and I'm having a rice cake because I'm trying to fuel up and like I'm nauseous but I can't tell if it's because I haven't eaten much by mouth I had a few like chips this morning but sometimes you know how like you feel nauseous because it feels like there's a lot of just like fluid in your stomach so I'm gonna try a rice cake to see if that feels better I unpacked a lot of boxes I have I'd say like 75% done I'm just now with all like the little random stuff that takes a while because it's just like where do I put it I'll show you before I made it after I eat this rice cake this is what we have left so like random little stuff random little stuff it's all just random little things and then this is under the kitchen sink stuff and then that's my food processor which i'm waiting to unpack until i finish unpacking all this and i can figure out where i want to put everything on the counter because it's kind of messy and then this is a box of stuff that we don't use that often so i'm going to store this in the garage because i don't have as much cabinet space to like just put this in the cabinet so i'm going to use this and just store it in the garage literally random stuff that doesn't have to do with the kitchen so i'm saving that for last and then some more random kitchen stuff and that's pretty much it so i made so much progress so far and i'm so happy with that so i'm just gonna keep going and then i think we're gonna go grocery shopping soon my food Fry break! Some fries and he got a leftover sub. And look at the kitchen progress now. I have those four boxes and then the food processor. I forgot about this one. I don't know where I'm gonna put this because we don't have room for our little junk drawer anymore. So we'll have to figure that out. And then I still have that box over there. But we're making progress and pretty soon we can put up the table. They have, Ooh, watermelon. they have watermelon and blackberry. Do you want to try? Which ones do you want to try? So we'll get that one and then do you want? Uh, now grab watermelon which one? or black cherry or blackberry. Whatever one you want. Oh man, I want both. Well then, do you not want to get grapefruit? Do you want to get those two instead? Yeah. Ah, I did it. So aggressive. That's why you have. Okay, let me try to do it your way. It's not working. You got it. 
Okay, we're going with this. Well, did you want to get four then? Oh, a mango. Oh my gosh. Okay, just get four of them. Okay. So, mango. Oh, we miss mango. Oh, yeah. Rip, rip mango. R.I.P. that <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> no. Mango is your old cat that died. Yeah. <laughs> That's so bad. Wait, wait, did they no, they didn't bury her. If no, they, they buried put her, her. We should have had like a tombstone that said R.I.P. She's in an urn, it's okay. Oh, okay, which one? Do watermelon. Okay. Uh, we gotta do the splash of lime. Yeah, those. My mouth is watering. I want to. Do you want pink Himalayan or do you want a splash of lime? I don't care. I like lime. Lime is good. But you, you put the lime in the focus. Tis the season for flames. For flames? Yeah. Ricky Flame. Got some good gold. Look at, we have blueberry and chocolate strawberry. <laughs> what are you, are you good? I got blue cramps. I'm not cramps. You know what? When you need to go so bad it starts cramping. Yeah. Do you need a bathroom break? No. Okay. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> She's lonely. Pete. I was on two medications for my colon and I thought only one of them was doing the work so I stopped taking one but as we can see it, it was the combination of both so I am in pain but it's okay because I ordered it again. Friday, July 2nd. Last night was so much fun. We did the escape rooms. We escaped both. They were amazing. I love them. And then after that, I just came back here and I rested. Now it's morning. It's about 9.30 and I ate like a rice cake with some cookie butter on it because I have to bring out this. And if I have this on an empty stomach, like I, it makes me even more nauseous. So I wasn't even hungry, but I knew I had to. And because I'm not hooked up to fees right now, I needed to make sure I got some calories in. The dilemma is I am on two medications. I don't know if anyone cares, but I am on two medications and I thought only one of them was doing the work for my colon, but apparently it's the combination of both. And I stopped one of them because I was like, well, if it's not doing anything, I don't want to take it and I don't want to pay for it. But apparently it was doing something with my colon with combination of the other med and I know that one isn't doing all the work because the other med I took I added on to this it's a combination of both that does stuff and I've been off it for a couple days now and let's just say we have arisen to some issues and it's like so bad like I can't put any feeds in right now because I did all the way yesterday but like I can it feels like a rock it's just sitting in my abdomen it is so uncomfortable and causing pain and whatever so cheers and then I'm gonna get started in the kitchen or I want to finish the kitchen Ugh. Okay, I'm so dramatic, but this really isn't good. Do I have like water or something to the Okay, we have bubbly. Okay, she's down. And hopefully it's gonna sit a little bit better in my stomach this time. Usually it makes me so nauseous, but I think it's just because I only have liquid, like either a tea or coffee, and then I drink this. I've tried eating this time beforehand, so hopefully all that liquid, it, it just makes me less nauseous, so. Cheers. Here's the kitchen. I got most of the boxes done. I still have these boxes over here, but I'm gonna take a break from that, and I'm gonna work on the counter because I want to. So we got a microwave yesterday. It's just the original microwave that was here because the the other house has a microwave so we got this one back so I'm, i can put that on the counter and then that's for under the sink and that's my food processor which i will open once i organize the counters which i have no idea what i'm gonna do yet so let's just get started i gotta just kind of clear the counters off as well Only see us in our dreams on outside i'll drive you pick the station sunrise no destination no lie i've been so patient like winter waiting for june i'm done and waiting for you waiting for you baby i'm outside been thinking about you all night 
Be thinking it ain't right if you and me only see us in our dreams. I'm outside. Be thinking that you're all night. Be thinking it ain't right if you and me only see us in our dreams. I'm outside. Okay, he's coming to save me. I was having issues with the legs, but he didn't tell me there was a stopper. He didn't tell me there were stoppers. Oh my goodness. And now I'm making a breakfast. Yay. Look how gross that is. I don't know if you can see. Also, my med still didn't work, so we're still waiting. The key to the best avocado toast is you always mash it first, and you put a bunch of spices and lemon or lime juice, and that's how you do it. Make an egg. I did it. <laughs> Yummy! Yay! Our kitchen is mostly organized. There are some boxes that I didn't fully unpack because it's not necessary right now. I unpacked all the necessary stuff and I will be moving on to the closet, but I want to show you. We have refrigerator with stuff. We had these. I tried these yesterday because I used to love imitation crab. I know it's probably not the best for you, but it actually sat pretty okay in my stomach, so yay. And then freezer messy i found these at publix yesterday i'm excited to try them and then there's those more stuff in here we have pantry looks the same our table's right here we have microwave utensils this section's a little messy we'll probably have to figure that out down here we have pans and then here we have the strainer and some other random kitchen stuff down in there i have my baking sheets here i just have like random glass jars and vases this is our pantry kind of overflow all of that is my baking stuff soup pastas and other random stuff coffee tea the vinegars coconut oil and stuff grill and here we have our kitchen utensils i have my jars here and then tupperware down in there and then this overview we have this is what I have on the counter. And then we know my spice drawer. Down here is Instant Pot, the recipes, and some other just like random kitchen stuff. Underneath the sink, dishwasher, cutting boards, and that's the trash can. And then on the counter, I just have my blender, food processor, my coffee syrups, and then toaster, knives, and napkins. four i think boxes of clothing i only have one left which is the suitcase but i am gonna take a break and bake some cookies because ever since i finished the kitchen i was like i want to bake some cookies so just gonna look up a recipe for some basic chocolate chip cookies and make them Too bad you can see they're just okay it looks really dark on camera we'll try it anyways okay that's really good you can taste a little bit burnt but let's try a bite of one that's good on the bottom okay the burnt one isn't too bad actually very delicious should i do like a break like that did not work <laughs> oh well but nothing like fresh cookies in a new house i love it What'd you make? Chocolate dip cookie. 
Oh, this looks beautiful. This is so good. Really? Yay! Hello, vlog. Long time. No talk. I worked on a closet and then I ate and then I worked on the closet some more and then I had to stop by my parents' house and then I came back and we took a nap because we're both so exhausted. Moving is so much work. But anyways, look at the new Apple Watch band that I got. So this was the state of my old one. It's disgusting. I got it so long ago. So I ordered some new ones and they're, it came in like a three pack this time. So it was only like $13 for three of them. So I got this leopard print one and then an another pink one and a black one. So those are cute. I will have a link down below. I'm trying to like link some more stuff in my description box that I have in my videos. So yeah, I'll just have that in my description. If there's anything that you ever want to link for, just comment and like then I will update my description box and put it in there. Now I'm going to take a shower and then I want to pre-packaged some Etsy orders tonight. I have three of them that I have to get caught up on and I'm just gonna do everything but print out the label because the printer is in a box that I don't know where it is but I can get everything else ready and I want to send those out tomorrow if I can. Let me show you the closet. Oh okay sometimes I stand up too fast. So this is the state of our closet right now. That's a random box. I'm gonna go like bring that outside and then there's some boxes in here too I can bring outside just to clear up the master bedroom and then my clothes are in here as well and then I also have clothes in my other closet because I have too many for in there so this is in my sewing room closet I have my sewing the stuff that I sewed separate I don't know I just like it and then sweaters and then my dresses because I don't wear those that often not like ever anymore because I'm hooked up to feeds all the time <laughs> set up my feet and I'm proud of myself because I am in very much discomfort <laughs> right now. Uh, everything just feels so bad and I don't know if anyone who has a tube like has this happen but like I have my g-tube extension and like my pressure and my stomach is so high that it's literally pushing fluid out through here even though it's clamped and like food from a while ago is like pushing through even though it's clamped so I don't know if anyone has that happen but that happens to me like pretty regularly where i'll just be like standing and like water will just come out the top like food stomach contents will even though it's clamped i'm just gonna go to bed and hopefully pain gets better overall pretty good day though good morning vlog it's saturday and so far this morning pain day yes it is paint day pain day so so far this morning i did the master bathroom so that is done i feel like i did oh yeah and then i just packaged my etsy orders so i can drop those off today and now we are making a list because we are gonna go to the store it's already one o'clock but it's okay we can still nice get right stuff here. done and he's watching on how to paint i think we'll be okay i've painted a room before An hour and a half later and we finally made it to lowe's we are cheating on home depot merely by the fact that this is three minutes closer than home she depot she was closer Do it. Okay. <laughs> that ended so perfectly. <laughs> okay. Drop cloth. Yay. Which one are we choosing? The one that says high hiding. High hiding. Because the walls are dark. Start painting. Well, actually, he's gonna start 
with priming that first and then I'll paint it. So I'm gonna set up a nice little time lapse. It's gonna probably be super satisfying, right? Because I'm in it. Exactly. And how late do you plan on going nowhere? Afraid of all the things you don't know. There's so many reasons you should care. Don't stay. The sun is setting down soon You'll never see the stars when you're all in your head You can find beauty in the night too But it's harder to see when you're stuck Wow! He's got three walls painted! That one was so fast, babe! So I have an update for you. My dad came over to help paint as well and he got my boyfriend's office done! So I don't think I took a proper before, oops, but... Here is it, and we just painted it white. It looks so nice. I'm so excited to start decorating it. And then we ran out of paint. So my sewing room is not done yet, but it is okay. We will go get some more paint and finish it a different day. But this is what we got done. So this one, we do primer. It might need another coat yet, I don't know. This wall needs to be finished. So does this one and then the trimming, but very nice. I'm so excited. And now we're gonna go get him some fuel. Okay, do it. Go get it. Oh my, um, sir, do you work at Lowe's? Sir, there you go. Two of them, two. Perfect. Okay. Alley covers, let's go get some paint. Another primer. Yummy. Hello, it's Monday and yesterday was the 4th of July and I didn't film at all because we just spent the whole day with family and it was so much fun. We also did an escape room and I guess it's the scariest escape room in Central Florida and it was amazing. It was designed by people who design Halloween Horror Nights and I don't like scary things. It wasn't like jump scares. I don't know how to explain it. It's more of like a psychological scare meaning like you scare yourself more than anything but it was amazing the best experience that i've ever had and i'm so glad that i had that opportunity and then yeah we just spent the night with family and played games and it was amazing and the best but i am going to come in and end the vlog here because i got enough footage and today i am just editing and resting because we were out late last night and woke up late so yeah i'm just gonna edit and rest and then Later this week, we'll, we will slowly work on unpacking. It's gonna take a lot longer than I expected, but I just had to understand like it's okay and there's no rush to unpack and get it done. We are loving this house so much already and I'm just so excited for this new adventure. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give this video a like, a comment, and to subscribe for new videos every Saturday. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! Yeah.